Good evening, everybody. Happy, happy, happy Wednesday. Happy Black History Month, friends. And welcome back to Dig Deep Conversations with Christian Leaders. I am your host, Dr. Drea C. Aldro. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure that you use the hashtag first time. Um, if this is not your first time, welcome back. I don't know if you all were able to join us at the in-person conversations with Christian leaders back in January, Battle of the Sexes, we had a absolutely phenomenal time. It was incredible. And also it was not posted on live. It will not be on the podcast. So the next one, you have to make sure that you are there. But tonight, 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 I have the absolute privilege, the privilege of not only having my friends, my big sis, my big bro, but we are here together physically on location at Rehoboth Family Life Church of God in Christ, where we are members. Shout out to Pastor Joel. Thank you so much for allowing us to use this space. Uh, but I'm really excited to have this couple here. Any, anytime they talk about their marriage, they always say, you know, you've been married for 35 years. And my response is always, oh my gosh, that is a long time. But all jokes aside, I think there's a lot of wisdom um, that can be learned from those who have been married for a long time. And tonight's topic is what's love got to do with it? And the thought process behind this topic is that, you know, I think a lot of times people put so much emphasis on love that we don't really talk about some of the challenging times in marriage. We don't really talk about the fact that love may or may not be the most important thing in a marriage. So if you are tuning in or if you connect are connected with me on Facebook, I posted about a week ago and I asked the married folks to tap in and I asked them, is love the most important thing to have in a marriage? And a resounding no was the response. There were a few people who said, yes, love is very, very important. Um, our guest tonight said no, so we're going to give them a chance to talk about that a little bit more. But I did want to read just one response that I found uh, was incredibly helpful and incredibly wise. Um, let's see if I can pull up that comment here really quick for y'all. So it says, no, love isn't enough to sustain some of the ebbs and flows that life offers. Friendship and a willingness to love each version of each other has proven to be what sustains this commenter. Uh, in our vows, we committed to love each version of each other that we would become. That vow has truly kept us. And they end the comment by saying, marriage is a ministry of service. And I thought this quote, this comment really uh, captures the vision of tonight's conversation where we're talking about the ebbs and flows of marriage, where love just isn't enough when we ask ourselves, what has love got to do with it? So tonight, I'm so pleased to welcome my guest. It is Evangelist Tony Williams, Elder Todd Williams. Put your hands together in the comments, some likes, some hearts. Make sure that you share. Hey, y'all. Hey. Are you guys excited? Excited is an uh, understatement. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so, so good. So what I'm going to ask my guests to do uh, tonight is to just introduce themselves. Uh, give me who you are. Uh, we know how long you've been married, 35 years, but what I would like to know is what do you think Elder William's favorite attribute of you, characteristic, body part, whatever, what do you think his favorite part of you is? And same question for you, okay? So what do you think her favorite part of you is and what do you think his favorite part of you is? Does that make sense? Did I ask that okay? All right, so let's start with Evangelist Williams. Tell us who you are, where you're repping, where you're coming from, anything you want the people to know. Good evening. I'm Evangelist Tony Michelle Williams. Um, what else you want to know? Like, what do you want? I am a preschool K um, teacher at, no, I'm not even going to tell y'all because I don't want y'all coming to my job, um, but in the city of New Haven, I'm also, um, I do a little behavioral tech work there too. I help out with, you know, kids who are having rough, tough days as well. That's my profession. Um, but in church, I am the music department, minister of music for Connecticut second jurisdiction of two, where my bishop is Bishop Augustus C. Pullen here in the city of New Haven, where you'll be finding us ministered in a great way under the leadership of myself in a few weeks. But um, I'm a mother of three three beautiful children, two girls and a boy, which I'm extremely proud of. And of course, this is my man. Thank you for my man. Um, <laughs> and um, let's skip all this about me because really it's about us. We want to help somebody on tonight, um, seriously. But um, Elder, Elder Williams, Pastor Williams, 
I can't speak. That's the first time I'm saying that to the world. Is it? Past, yeah. Oh. Sister. Pastor. Sister. We're not going to do that because I have another name for that. Um, Pastor Williams. Can I say my, my favorite part is? Yeah. What do you think his favorite part? I know. You know? I know because okay. he named it. Oh. <laughs> Y'all ready? Judy with the big fat booty. <laughs> I said it. It's off there. <laughs> I'm so here for it. I'm so here for it. Yep, I love it. That's his favorite part. I love it. I when listen. he met me, he named it. And then we have it. If you know, you know. I mean, this it is what it is. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. They married, so yep. we, we're good to go. Thank you for the introduction. <laughs> Assistant Pastor Todd Williams. Thank Congratulations, by the way. Congratulations, my bro. Thank Introduce you. yourself to the people, please. Yes, I'm Elder Todd Williams, uh, Assistant Pastor here at over family life with my pastor the elder joe michael david pullen uh, my prelate oh. is a uh, bishop augustus david pullen amen and i'm just amen. excited to be here on tonight with my sister i'm really honored to be here uh, never thought i'd be sitting in this chair but uh my profession is um i build uh probably the best uh, helicopter in the world for lockheed martin's course aircraft with black hawk Hel helicopter been there almost 20 years, uh, with God's will, soon to be retired. Uh, but I work uh, diligently here in my ministry. I work close with my pastor um, outside the church. Uh, you want to find me, I'll probably be on the golf course. Love to play golf with him. I love to spend time with my family. Very family oriented um, to the T. Though my kids are grown, I still want them with me when I go on vacation most of the time. I'm pretty simple, pretty simple. Uh, love my wife, love her dearly. Um, we've been doing this for a while. I'm hoping on tonight that I can, uh, I'm not want to spill no tea, mm -hmm. but I want to be truthful. Sure. Because, not true, but not, you know, I want to help somebody. Right. Uh, we have, uh, in almost 35 years, June 3rd this year will be 35 years. Mm -hmm. And we have gone through a lot. Mm -hmm. We have, we, we, we've taken a lot of losses and we've, we've gone through a lot, but God, mm -hmm. but yeah. God, I can truly say that it was nobody but God. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking uh, 10, 15, 20 years ago. I'm yeah. talking like two years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we both can testify that uh, there's a time we both wanted to pack our bags mm -hmm. and leave, mm -hmm. but God, but we'll, we'll, we'll go over that. Sure, we'll get to it there. Right? It's like the first word, basically there. But you know, wait, press pause. I know we're going. We're going to the favorite part. So, what do you think, Evangelist Williams' favorite part of you, attribute, characteristic of you is? Probably, I don't know. I don't know. Probably my smile. <laughs> Probably my smile. Okay, okay. I've been thinking it's my smile. She can look at me and know when I'm up to something. Mm hmm okay. And it's hard for me to, you know, I, I, I'm the type of guy, like, uh, I like to agitate her. Oh. Purposely. The truth is coming out. Okay. Purposely. 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 And I like to catch her when she's, you know, when she's, like, tired or something. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I, I see. Okay. I'm but she can look at me and, like, Okay, what you smiling about? Nothing. And mm -hmm. she knows. She, she can read me. She can okay. Read me. I love Now, is that true? Is that true? That that's okay. true. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Listen, I'm excited. We're going to jump right into these questions. So the very first question, we're talking about, you know, you have brought up Elder Williams about challenging seasons in a marriage, in Absolutely. your marriage in particular. Um, what should married couples do if they find themselves in a season of not liking their spouse? I actually want to start with you, Elder Williams, on that question. Um, for me and for us, and, and I can be truthful, she'll tell you, uh, this is like two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, we really had to really become friends over again. Mm -hmm. Really get away from the, uh, the in sexual emotion. No, we had to really become friends again. Mm -hmm. and, and laugh again, and go out on dates, and and, and do things uh, spontaneous, yeah. like when it first started. 
Yeah. You know, sure. we really had to uh, really like, I, you know, I, I had to we had to become good friends again. Sure. Yeah. And uh, it really, it really, for me, it helped. I don't know about her, but it really helped us to, uh, because with the challenges of life and you're going to go through some, some speed bumps. Mm -hmm. uh, we've gone through a lot, should, you know, and I'll be honest with you, we've taken some losses. Mm -hmm. We've you was home, cars, been there, done that, yeah. you know. And uh, let me tell you something. Uh, you want a uh, shaky marriage? Have some 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 bad finances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, finances and uh, lack of communication can can kill a marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, we first started off. She was very good with communication. Mm -hmm. Kind of lost the way, you know down the road, but I can remember when we first started and I would, you know, if I'm mad at you, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. She's like, nah, you ain't going to sleep until yeah. we talk to you for real. <laughs> and you have to understand uh, when we first met, mm -hmm. I wasn't saved. Right. I, was, right, right, I wasn't right. raised in the church. Right. Uh, I was taught, uh, you know, biblical principles as a mm -hmm. child. I knew who Jesus was. You know, I was taught to pray before I go to bed, pray, you know, but I wasn't raised in the church. Mm -hmm. So church was new to me at 27, 28 years old. Right. So our beginning is totally different from, you know, a lot of people. Right. Not a lot of people, but those who are in the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, ours is different. Yeah. Ours is different. So I don't know if that answer your question. Yes, absolutely. Um, one quick follow-up question for you before we go to Evangelist Williams with mm -hmm. the same one. Can you just, for um, information's sake, so you all have been married for 35 years. When did you, at what age were you all married? Uh, I was like in first grade. <laughs> <laughs> She's a few years younger than me. <laughs> no. I was 22. And I was in first grade. <laughs> she was 19, 18, 19. 18. Hopefully, younger than 18. 18. No, she was 18. Okay. I was, I was just making 18. Okay. Really? Just. Oh, my God. <laughs> fresh out my mother's house. I was. Fresh out my mother's house. Was I not fresh out my mother's house? Yeah. Amen. That's right. she had just, she had, she Amen. Just we left. in church. She had just left We school. in church, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling it. Well, how we met. Go ahead. Yeah. I was stationed at the Fort Bragg, and her brother was stationed there. Um, she came to see her brother. She left Spain, came to see her brother on her way to the Air Force, correct? Her brother was one of my best friends, neighbor. Her best neighbor. Okay. And yeah. I remember him calling me. I was out all day long. So sad. It was a peep in time. Let's get to no, it. No, no, no. I can't. He was checking out. He was checking her out. No. He told you what your favorite part of her was. Like, he was no, checking out. No, 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 no. When I first met her now. Uh, Be nice. She had some jeans on that looked like they were painted on. I, I thought they were paint. I thought, I just saw tight they were. And she had on these. Oh, we're live. Calm, we're live. Oh, we're live. We're live. Go ahead. Skip that. Don't no, no, ask people what I... Come on. Go ahead. Get your story. But when I met her, uh, it really wasn't, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, she's nice. You know, we'll go get together and stuff. Okay. But, you know, at that time, I was all over the place, you know. Okay. Yeah. But uh, after that night, I don't know, we must have talked one day during the week. Mm -hmm. And then she you came... skipped a part. If you would say she wanted to tell the well, world. Yeah. I have to make this very clear. I was not looking at you like that. Okay. Okay, but mm -hmm. let's let's just skip over this. It was when you seen me in my uniform. I think that that's what really got captivated her. <laughs> but she came to one of my basketball games. Remember, did you come to my basketball game? I did. Right. See me, you know, she seen how athletic I was. No, was your brother on the basketball team at this time, or no. you just came? No. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, so okay. No. Thisboard.com. Okay. <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, but she did. Like that during that week. That was a Saturday when I first met, but there was one day in the week. Saturday time. It was a Saturday. Then you do the question. Can we get to the questions? Okay. Okay. You're gonna have to help me now. You know, we're talking over 30 years ago now. We have one hour. One hour. Okay. We're trying to help the people. Help the people. Okay. So y'all met.
your brother was there, yeah. you all met, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like, okay, yeah. you know, yeah, we cool. he's, he's cool, he's, he's nice. cool, she's mm -hmm. nice, he's nice. What took it, like, to that next level for y'all? Like, like I said, you were about 17, no, 18, 18, mm -hmm. 19. Like 17. Okay. <laughs> 18, 19, yeah. over 22, so married for 35 years, so certainly very young. Like, yeah, I can't right. imagine my seven, 18, I keep saying seven, 18-year-old self being married at all. Right. And, and not only just not being married, but also remaining married through the ups and downs. Like, mm -mm, it's, no. it's a whole adult. Yeah. I've been married a whole adult yes. person's life. Yes. Um, Absolutely. But 18-year-old is way, was, is way different than yeah 55 year old so, sure yeah um, and he's met all of those people <laughs> along the way mm -hmm. um but what took it to the next level we just became friends yeah okay. naturally it was mm -hmm. just natural things mm -hmm. friends i was in a room full of guys but i only gravitated to him right just talking and then it just happened. It was right. just like, right, right. you cool, I'm cool. Right. Let's be cool together. Right, right, right. You know? Love that. Love that. And then um, being cool got us caught up and I became perfect. Mm -hmm. And being cool was not cool because then he was he was in the service mm -hmm. and they were going to ship him away. Mm -hmm. And he thought enough of me mm -hmm. and our unborn child to say, you know what? In case something happens to me, I want to make sure you guys are good. Mm -hmm. The only way I can do that is give you my last name. Mm -hmm. That's why I said we have. I was engaged not even twenty four hours. Wow! And then like the marriage happened. The marriage happened. Y'all moved. We, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, we got married literally, literally twenty three days before my birthday. We got married on June third. That's, right. That's right. Yeah. She had my daughter on my birthday, That's June third. Right. Wow. Yeah. Oh. One of my main concerns was to be, I wasn't thinking about getting married. I didn't know I'm gonna spend my life, the rest of my life with her. Right. But I wanted her to have the best medical. Mm -hmm. You know, I had that much, much sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was like I said, I wouldn't say I was a good guy, you right. know, but I wouldn't say, but you know, I didn't know what was gonna happen on the line, but I sure. wanted her to have some good medical. I know, mm -hmm. she, you know, she wasn't getting that from me. So right, right, right. Uh, I had to do what I had to do. Right. And my mindset was, I don't know how long it's gonna last, mm -hmm. you, know? Mm -hmm. you know. But I got a daughter; we'll f figure something out. Mm -hmm. and I'm probably gonna, you know, move on somewhere, whatever. Right. And um, man, God, jokes on you, friend. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-five years yeah. later, yeah. jokes on because you. Because growing, growing up, my mindset was, I never wanted kids. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get married when I was about forty. Forty, really? That was my. I should take some judgment. Huh? That was my goal. That was the, <laughs> but uh, God's God had a totally different plan in my life. Wow, I love totally that. Plan. Love that. So then, going back to the first question, just to give um, evangelists a chance to answer, um, what should couples do? Married couples do if they find themselves in a season of not liking their spouse? All right. Again. We're being honest, just coming mm -hmm. out of that season. Mm -hmm. um, you have to really put everything on the line. Like, what is really important here? Sure. Yeah. What What am I missing? What did I lose? Mm -hmm. And can I find it again? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, is it worth finding again? Because there are reasons why people leave, and I and I second the emotion. Yeah, you should have left a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But in this situation. We just, life and the things that happened along the way just tried to grow us sure. separate. I didn't hate him. Right, right, right. You didn't hate me, did you? Absolutely not. I just heavily disliked him. Mm. Like, mm. there were days I'm like, ugh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, that, and of course, the enemy loves loves to do what he does. Absolutely. Um, but... Again, we naturally became friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was no nothing in between. No, nothing happened. We just was friends. Right. So what happened? Mm -hmm. And is it worth salvaging? Yeah. If we destroy it all, what are the repercussions mm -hmm. of 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 us doing this? Right. 
what what is going to happen to our family? Right. Could care less what people thought because a lot of people are together because of kids. Right. They stay together because right. of assets. Right. They stay together because of what people might think. Right. That didn't matter. Right. Right. So we have to reassess what was important. Mm -hmm. What, how we started. Mm -hmm. Is it worth going back to? Yeah. And we found little things. Yeah. I don't want to start all over and try to find another best friend. Like, oh, yeah. It like, is, from what I hear, it's yeah. like a hot mess in these streets. Yeah, so. and I, mm -mm. I don't, I just, yeah. I didn't want to do that. Yeah. Um, and I started finding reasons to find cool time again. And, yeah. and I found it. Yeah. Because that's what I fell in love with. Right, right, right. Cool time. He's a right. cool dude. Right. Um, respect him. You know, nothing bad about him. But. Until I found out, I'm not going to do that to you. But, um, yeah, I just started finding things mm -hmm. that that found, found us. Mm -hmm. Todd and Toad yeah. found us again. So when, when you find yourself one day not liking who, who you lay next to, mm -hmm. try to figure out, well, what happened? Mm -hmm. Is it me? What about me? Mm -hmm. Change. What changed? Yeah. Yeah. And, and if, is it worth saying? Is it worth fixing? Is it, is it worth the turnaround? Mm -hmm. And if it is, get busy. Right, right, right. Get right. busy. Right. Yeah. And, and, and pray. Mm -hmm. Certainly seek God's face about it. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't give you the green light to, to get about it here, you better start finding a way or you're going to be miserable. Yeah. 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 Because at the end of the day, it's, it's God's will. For us to be together, mm -hmm. he said, "What well, he has put together, let no man put aside." You know, he meant that thing. So, um, and we have to understand. What I had to understand as we are getting older, our, our bodies change, mm -hmm. and as our bodies change, sometimes our emotions change, mm -hmm. and you know, the strong feelings that you feel, not feelings. I mean, feeling being able to handle uh, critiques, anything mm -hmm. like that. Before, be like a big deal. Now it's like you know. So. Uh, Sometimes you have to do a little self check. Mm -hmm. um, I never stopped loving her, mm -hmm. um, but my main uh, desire, what I didn't want to lose, and we'll talk about that, I didn't want to lose my commitment to my marriage. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and uh, she's right. You just had to, you had to figure out, you know, how did we get here? Mm -hmm. We know we had great time. We had many great years, yeah. and it's funny though. Like, you know, thirty-seven years, marriage gets stale. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's real. That's real stuff. Right. 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 It's real stuff. So, but God, God made a way. And uh, listen, we, 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 you know, we're having fun. We're having fun again. That's I think one of the um, one of the things that I love about the two of you as a couple is that you all have a lot of fun. Together, y'all are laughing constantly. Yes, like, and you're able to laugh at one another and not like in a mean spirited way, mm -hmm. but also to laugh. Like, I can see the two of you kind of looking at each other, and y'all start laughing about the same things. And it's like that's really cool to see. Um, and I think I really appreciate the fact that you mentioned looking at yourself as well, because yeah. I think a lot of times when things go wrong in our relationship, it's so easy for us to be like, well, they changed and they ain't doing this and they doing that, instead of really sort of reflecting on, okay, well, what part of me changed? Why, why am I not finding this to be as fun anymore or wanting to connect anymore? Um, so I do appreciate that you all shared that. I do have a question in the comment. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> question in the comment. So it said, did you both uh, did you both come up with a plan together to intentionally become friends again? So can we talk maybe a little bit more about how the two of you decided, we, first of all, we want to make this work. We're committed to this marriage. Now, what is sort of an action plan in getting back to becoming friends again? I don't even believe that we can put a plan together. It's, it wasn't a plan, but we, we did go for a ride, mm -hmm. a drive together one day. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. And... We just put it all out in the car, like, should, should I drop you off at the corner? Or do we go back to the house together? How this is going to work? Um, are we going to tell the kids? Or are we going to go home 
and tell the kids that this this city is just not it. And we are just gonna be, you know, what we're gonna do. And then Todd expressed, I, I don't, I don't, I, in my heart of hearts, I don't want it to be over. Mm -hmm. But I understand if I have to, yeah, I'm prepared. Yeah, yeah. and likewise, I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, likewise, yeah. We'll yeah. just have to suck it up and go on. But the plan of action was. If we're gonna do this, mm -hmm. we have to start being friends. Right. right. We have to start mm -hmm. learning to love each other like we used to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Learning to like each other. Learning to yeah. find the good things instead of right. poking. And it's so easy to point. Oh, you keep leaving the toilet up. Mm -hmm. Keep, you know, yeah. you keep leaving your socks on. It's so easy to find fault. That's that's the easy. Mm -hmm. And you could do that with a stranger. Yeah. But it's harder to dig deep and find the good. Right. And when you're willing to put in the work, mm -hmm. it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. It's worth it. And sometimes you got to even recognize uh, the enemy is real. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Mm -hmm. He would love to uh, break up and destroy my family. Mm -hmm. Our kids, uh, they're grown, but it would devastate our kids if it Mm -hmm. It would devastate. I, I know for a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, and not to say I would stay just because for the kids, sure. absolutely not. Sure. Um, be real with you. You have know, to say absolutely though. But go ahead. My main my main issue, you know, I thought about it like, man, this I got too much to do. Mm -hmm. you know, I still I'm, got my hair lined. I'm, I'm still I'm, on the market. I, 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 I'm thinking financially <laughs> like uh how much this gonna cost me? Wait a minute. You know? yeah. I ain't gonna lie now. My, you started counting up the cost. Is I what started you did. Absolutely. I might say yes. I'd rather be miserable with some money in the bank. You know, but no, it. Um, but those things do. Those that that's, that's yeah. real. That's real talk. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's, that's real you know, talk. One of the things that um, that I talked about in a relationship early on was whether or not we would do a prenuptial agreement. If we got married, yeah. and I'm a big proponent of doing that because I'm not. If we do walk away, you're not walking away with my money, right? I'm walking away with my money, and that's that. And so, I'm a big, big proponent of prenuptial agreements for that simple fact that I don't want to feel like I'm financially strapped to remain right. in the no, marriage. No, that like, be a reason why, no, absolutely yeah. not. And because I, I know people who are like yeah. that, and they are miserable, miserable. No, I have. Co-workers who, uh, I mean, I'm not rich, but I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have co-workers, and if it, and now if, if we had to, if we have a divorce, mm -hmm. you know, she gets, yeah, she gets half of my pension, yeah. she gets half of my 401k, yeah. probably gonna get uh, marital support. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> it's a Songwriter many years ago, you've heard it's the phrase. Cheaper to keep her. Johnny Taylor said, "Cheaper to keep her." It's cheaper to keep her. Is that the song that this guy? No, no. No. <laughs> oh, I, could, I would like to put That's it. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, absolutely not. We do have one other question um, in the comments here. It says, "As the years passed." How did you stay consistent with the relationship? Which is a great question. I think that was close to one of the questions that I had asked was being married for over 30 years. How do you keep the relationship fresh and fun? Because as you mentioned, you know, after like you have children and you both work in the ministry, you have jobs outside of that and you're also individuals. And so how do you keep the relationship fun? How do you remain consistent in the relationship? Let's start with Angela's Williams. Again, I mentioned before that 20 year old mm -hmm. Tony, different than 30 year old Tony. Mm -hmm. So he had to be introduced to all these different yeah. versions of me. Yeah. And each person is very much different. Do you agree? Absolutely. Then the, the next, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Not that we were outwardly doing crazy stuff, but mm -hmm. family always, 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 mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. Then for you know first in our lives even though we were we were saved young and had you know church been in ministry all of our adult years mm -hmm. but we didn't even let that because some people are like church 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 no right. we made time 
for our kids right. outside of the doors. We made sure they had normal lives as mm -hmm. far as, you know, if they did dances, did sports, mm -hmm. did activities in school, out of school. We supported them. So we didn't let the focal point of what we are about, the inward of us, to overtake the outside. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we enjoy life. We enjoy mm -hmm. the things outside the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. on a regular basis. Right. It wasn't just scheduled like on July 5th every year we're doing. <laughs> no, we're spontaneous. Yeah. Um, and we, we allow, you're not a part out. They'll say, the saints love to say we're not in, well, we're in the world but not of the world. Mm -hmm. But we, we are very vigilant of where we are yeah. and what's out there yeah. and what can we enjoy yeah. without going off the board. Right. And, right. and we did. We do that. Right. Right. And it, it keeps it keeps us alive. It keeps mm -hmm. our family alive. Mm -hmm. um, we always look to go new places, experience things together. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Good. Anything to add to that? Really? I mean, she pretty much... It hit it all. Mm -hmm. One thing I thought was as uh, within like these last 10 years or so, I think uh, allowing each other to get away. Mm -hmm. You know, I might go away, play golf for a week. She may go do a girl's trip. Mm -hmm. and, and the excitement of coming back together. Yeah, yeah I want to miss him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I see you every day. And, that, and that's, that's, that's yeah. another, another yeah. thing that helped. Mm -hmm. In the beginning of our marriage, Todd was gone a lot, like mm -hmm. for years, mm -hmm. months at a time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really, I met him and then he disappeared. Right. Okay. And we only communicated through letters. Right. Through like a fantasy world. It was like, God, ah, you really do. Mm -hmm. To me, you really do have a father. Yeah. He's just yeah. somewhere out there. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> stop it. Sorry. So that in itself was mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. That was very difficult because yeah. when he came home, I had to deal with Todd that just came home from war, seeing mm -hmm. and killing and mm -hmm. all this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. I had to, who, what is wrong with you? Right. Why can't the lights be off when we sleep? You know, right. all different phases that yeah. I had to even yeah. go through because of what the military did to him, right? Right. And then me being almost like a single parent, here's this man almost coming like to spend a night with me and my kid. Right. And he, he has his ways and yeah. And so I had to be introduced to that person. Right. Learn of it. Right. Be acceptance of it. Yeah. Accepting of it. Yeah. As well as by the time he came back, now I'm in my twenty five. So you yeah, know yeah. and that's a new now I've been on my own. Right. I don't need a mate. Right, right. I've right. been doing this on my own. Right. Yep. But I had he had to be introduced to that person. Like mm -hmm. Independent woman, right? Where you come from? Because before, before I left you, you needed me, right? For medical. <laughs> <laughs> so different phases calls for a different me, yeah, a different outlook. Mm -hmm. um, and and with the help of God, we've just been able to just weave in and out of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah there yeah. was sometimes it was some kinks, <laughs> a lot of kinks, a lot of kinks, but. At the end of the day, when you look at the whole picture, when the blanket is done, mm -hmm. you're like, wow, that was worth all the time it took yeah. to me. Yeah. And that's us. Yeah. Anything to add to that? No, no. no, no. <laughs> that was good. That was very good. That was very good. That was very good. That was very good. Um, so we do have another question here in the chat. And let's see. We got a lot of comments coming. So... You guys are doing such a great job. Um, let's see. So our next question that we have in the chat says, how did you deal with your marriage when finances became difficult? And I know, um, Elder Williams, you mentioned about communication. And I don't know if that's kind of where you want to start. But dealing with finances when it becomes difficult. Oh, my Lord. Believe mm -hmm. uh, me. I need my shades. Very challenging. Very, very Real, we went through a lot, yeah. and I can't. You know, you want to point the finger, sure. but you know, I play. You just did. I play a part. Um, I had to end up doing counseling, mm -hmm. and uh, because for just you or for both of us, both of you, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because what I wanted in a wife, I wanted a wife like my mother, 
Mm -hmm. I watched my mother sit down, watch her do her bills, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. And that's what I wanted with a wife. Right. Um, that wasn't her forte. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just being yeah. real. Yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would come home, uh, give her my check, you know. And it wasn't a forte. Mm -hmm. and it took some losses to, for, uh, for, uh, so, oh, I thought we had 5,000. Oh, that was 500. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> my bad. It took some major losses for me to, mm -hmm. for me to, for the counselor mm -hmm. to you realize say, I didn't have the strong money. Since since you, since yeah. you, <laughs> you got to do it. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's something I didn't want to do, but I had to do it. And I do mm -hmm. to this day. Mm -hmm. And we, we've gone, listen, we've gone through a lot. Mm -hmm. But God has brought us to a place now where uh, we're in such a great place, mm -hmm. financially such a great place. Mm -hmm. My desire, you know, as, you know, at 58, my desire is to please make her happy mm -hmm. to the fullest for the rest of our life. Mm -hmm. And God has, you know, that was my prayer. Yeah. And God has, 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 blessed, has blessed me and uh, on a good track. Yeah. On a good track. But uh, it took uh, prayer mm -hmm. because, uh, the, the fights, the arguments were real. Mm -hmm. They were real, they were intense, um, couldn't sleep. Mm -hmm. um, because when you have two people who are not in line, mm -hmm. I, I'll tell any marriage couple, who's ever, who's ever strong with the money, let them handle it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm being honest, yeah. let them handle yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, that's for any aspect of it. Yeah. Money, if you're strong with money, that's you. If right, you're strong right, with right. discipline, right, right, that's right. me. Right. If you're strong with right. this, that's your area. Right. And it's okay. Right. It's okay. Right. Yeah. Because what I, I tell all of what the marriages I've done, I'll tell a lot of young couples, mm -hmm. one of the first things I'll tell them is, um, we all have an account together now, whatever mm -hmm. I say. Mm -hmm. who, do, who do you consider is the good the handling better, money? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell them, let them handle it. And you have to be able to trust yes, them. Absolutely. Trust them that the decisions that they're going to make is for the household. Right. Because right, some right. people, I talk to a lot of people about this. Mm -hmm. Finances is huge. Yeah. A lot of people are like, I keep some like hidden yeah, 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 just yeah, in yeah, case yeah, yeah. this person, you know, <laughs> try to decide you want to go out. Right. But that's, that's not even being true. Right. 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 That right. means you still don't trust. If you got a lot. That's so, okay, so let's talk about that then, because in my mind, and I guess it's not, it wouldn't be like a hidden account, but in my mind it would be, we have a joint account for some bills, and I have my separate account, and he has his separate account. So that way, you know, if I want to go to DSW and get a pair of shoes, right. I don't want to mess up the, you know, we can't pay our rent because I got some new shoes. Right. But. Been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's very interesting to hear that. So would you all, I think to answer the question about how do you sort of navigate financial difficulties, one, prayer, we know that, mm -hmm. and I'm a big proponent of, you know, Jesus and therapy. Right. So it sounds like, two, getting outside help. Get outside help. Getting Absolutely. outside help. Yeah. And I can add this. Don't get inside help. Don't. Yeah. And I yeah. would say this. Don't get help in the church. Yeah. Yeah, because they're gonna give you biblical principles. Right, right, right. You, right. It, my bank is called Bank of America, not Bank of Church of God in Christ, Bank of Rehoboth. It, it is not because normally yeah, if yeah. you go to a pastor, mm -hmm. you're gonna get biblical, right. pastoral right, type right, of right, advice. Right, right, right. No, you go right. to somebody who's getting paid, who could care less. Right, right, right. Not to say I'm not Jesus. I'm not putting you on pause, but who could care less about what you believe? Sure. Yep. They want us yep. to make the main thing the main thing. We're here to talk about y'all and you know, finances and y'all money and what's yeah, yeah, trying to tear y'all apart. Yeah. Let's do that. And this is a way. Mm -hmm. And that, that that was helpful. Yeah. So you, what was your question about accounts? It, you know what? No, I don't even have the question about it because I just feel like it wouldn't be a secret. Account. It's not a secret, but, yeah. but now, now establish that. Yeah. Listen, yeah, 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 yeah. we have an account, I have an account, you have an account. Yeah. If any time that you need to take something out of my account to help yeah. us, yeah, yeah, yeah. not yeah. you, us, <laughs> yeah. make that very clear. Yeah. Establish that thing in the beginning. Yeah. We didn't establish 
rules of money. We just was willy nilly in it. Okay. Fumbling and bubbling. Right like, yeah. The whole time. I didn't know yeah. who the quarterback was, who was the running. I didn't know none of that. We were just playing games yeah. the whole time, yeah. trying to figure it out. Mm. And growing up together, yeah. making my mistakes that we could avoid it. Mm. And we had somebody, <laughs> a coach, right, right, however, right. And it's very, a marital counselor or whatever. We right. didn't have that. Right, 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 right. It's very difficult when the left hand don't know what the right hand is doing. Talk right about hand. it. That's, yeah. It's very yeah, difficult. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would literally, you know, I'm, I have, you know, I'm not crazy because Oprah checks her account every day. I check my account first every day. First day yeah, I check yeah, my account. Yeah. yeah. And uh, sometimes I used to cringe because I'm like, well, what did she do? What did I do? What she do now? What I, did I, do? I would cringe. Shell, shell. Um, Out there, guys, when he's mad at me, he doesn't say all the letters in my name. It's just shell. When it's just shell, I'm in trouble. Absolutely. However, that that how we started out 35 years ago is not where sure. we are today. No. Yeah. Yeah. We used to hide money. We used to do all those games, wow. play play like from each other. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Secret accounts. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we did that. Yeah. I now know Todd hides money in the closet. He thinks it's in it, but I know that it's there. <laughs> There's no secret. Because no, it's no secret. She knows this day. I, mm -hmm. I try to keep it stuff in my cash in the house. And that makes sense. You know, right? Like I, I have. Hear that. Yeah. I'm not that. But I know people who don't, who know who have yeah. the secret stash. Who don't, don't know, know the mad money that women are allotted right, to right, say right, that we right. have. Right. They they don't know. Right. 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 I don't, I don't know. Right. I don't know. Right. Money. I don't have money. No, you don't know where my money is. This is in your account. <laughs> Very simple. Damn. Damn. We, cut it all, we cut all that nonsense out. It saves time if you tell the truth. Hey, listen, I. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Reason why we have money in the house is for emergencies. Right. Get it? Makes sense. Hey. Makes sense. But there was a time, I know that man had money in the house. I would have been on it. <laughs> would have been with shot. Okay. <laughs> She's telling the truth too. I, I appreciate nice. it. I appreciate that's all. That's what it's all about tonight. Because I'm certain that you're helping the people I know in the comments. Yeah. Um, they are talking and that we work as a team. Um, you know, whatever's whatever yours is mine, and whatever's mine is mine. That's funny for this lady, Lewis. Shout out to you watching <laughs> yeah, tonight. Absolutely, yes, yeah. yes. That is so Let's true. Let's go back to. Um, let me go back to a little bit about you all's like story and everything because I think this is this is I think the interesting part because Elder Williams you talked about how you all didn't grow up you know saved in the church like you didn't meet when you were no, you know we didn't no. meet we didn't meet at AIM we right, didn't right right meet right meet at right. Right. No. right 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 and so I'm so for me knowing part of your story and that particular part of your story knowing that evangelist Williams at the time you were saved or had gotten saved yep. no and saved. elder Williams was just like it ain't for me mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about um or just share some nuggets two nuggets with the wife who is waiting for her husband to become saved girl save yourself <laughs> some time do not be out in these streets being unequally yoked it was, it's going to take the grace of God and God going before his wise men and everybody sitting back at that table that we all have our grandma got that picture. Her, she got to have that whole meeting all over again. Save yourself some time. Get you somebody who's like-minded mm -hmm. spiritually mm -hmm. and on other levels that, 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 you're, that have some interests and things like that. Save yourself some headaches, some sleepless nights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some cop calling type. Like, just stop. Get yourself somebody. Yeah. If you're going to be saved, get you somebody. Right. Who's saved? Right, right. It's going to be, it's, it's, if you want to go that route, you want to thug nasty, listen. It's going to be rough. Yeah. It's going to be rough because there were times when I had, I sang all over the world before uh, being in this, where I am today. I used mm -hmm. to sing behind different artists mm -hmm. that are, Huge artist. When I used to sing with John McKee and have gigs and mm -hmm. stuff like that, Todd not being saved or even care about the church was like, you're not going anywhere tonight. What, what's your alliance in? Mm -hmm. And he would cause all this confusion. Mm -hmm. 
because he didn't under, even understand right. ministry right. and what right. my likings were and anything right, right, right. like that. He didn't have a clue. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So it was in church when I had to go back to church at five o'clock yes. or yeah. YPWW yeah. and all this thing. Yeah. What are you leaving the house for? You just was at church for nine hours. <laughs> and, and then, well, choose me in the church. It became fights after fights after fights. And then one day I flipped the script. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're not going to church with me? You're not going to have me no more. Mm -hmm. How about that? Right, right, right. So, uns uns we're going to use these words. Unsober Todd went to church one day. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, Jesus Christ Superstar was there. And he has never been the same since. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Elder but one. yeah, the nights in the fights mm -hmm. and the slashing and the tearing up of all my good friends and stuff could have been all saved. Mm -hmm. You know, thank God for his grace and mercy mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. kept us together. But we could have avoided a whole lot right, right, of right. stuff. And I'm saying this to people. Don't be out here in the streets. If you know you're going to be a church girl, yeah. get to a church boy. Yeah. Yeah. Or somebody who was on their way. <laughs> I'm not saying you got to marry a preacher or somebody who's very established, but please, man, please, sir, mm -hmm. get you somebody who have Christ mm -hmm. in their life. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be the same right, um, right, right. denomination, but get somebody, first of all, who Christ mm -hmm. is the head of their life. It will save you mm -hmm. so much time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That, listen, it tells us in the Bible that we aren't to be unequally yoked. And we're talking about romantically here, right? And now sometimes we know that even if the two people that get married start off unsafe, but then right. one happens to become safe, yeah. it can be a it challenge. Can. It's going to be that struggle. Elder can you just share from your perspective, having lived through that experience of, you know, as you said, you grew up on biblical principles, but you were certainly not, you know, student yeah. of the month. Me and my school. wife were, were totally opposite. Mm. You know, I, I, I started early you know, drinking. I think I started drinking at 15 years old mm -hmm. through high school, throwing the clubs in high school. Mm -hmm. um, our lives were totally different, day and night. Yeah. Matter of fact, first time she went to a club, I brought her to a club. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't good. She, she just, she, she uh, was not good. She didn't, you no, didn't. No, no, really? no, 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 no. That's shocking to me. I never liked the club. Really? No. You missing out. I mean, you're not anymore, <laughs> but, you know, it's, you know. Well, there's a reason, too. Um, I always looked much, much younger. Okay. Than yeah. what okay. I was. Yes. So yeah. that was always a challenge. Yeah. Getting in there. Yep, yep, yep. It's like, you have fake ID. Yeah. Like, no, I really am. Mm -hmm. 21. They were like, no. <laughs> that was that point, though. <laughs> so I would have to do extreme wear a lot of makeup and all this type of stuff. And then mm -hmm. I would even look more after. Right, right, right. Just to get in the club. And then when I get there, I'm like, huh. yeah, no. It's, it's the same funny. people. It's the, and when I tell y'all, I and we're going to get back to your perspective. Um, I was leaving from an event, and we happened to be going through a place that I guess they had converted it to a club for the night. And I'm waiting for my friends to come out so they could walk me to my car. And the DJ is playing a set of music. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, I knew the songs that were coming before they came because it was the same exact set <laughs> that the DJs were playing back when I was in the club in 2008, 2007. And I was like, that's not, I, I could not do that anymore. Uh -huh. And, you know, thank God for his grace and his mercy and, and salvation. But it just was like really and truly every single weekend. It was like you go to some of the same clubs, to some of the same that people, hear some of the same just, music. I couldn't get it. Yeah. Well, probably if they would let me in, I'd probably have a different story. <laughs> but that was a child that was embarrassing. Yeah. I'm going to be sent back That's to the car. But even after I was able to go to certain lounges and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it's like, I didn't drink. Yeah. So that was a bummer. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't like drinking Todd. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely no for me. I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. So those those set of stuff, stuff is just was like a big yeah. turn off for me. Again, unequally, we didn't even have that even stuff in mind. Mm -hmm. We weren't even drinkers together, so mm -hmm. I couldn't enjoy a drink with them because right. we ain't drinking together. We're right. not smoking. We're not smoking. It's what? Right. <laughs> what? So, um, Elder Wings, back to your perspective on sort of living through that experience of 
um, you know, your your partner in marriage is now saved or is saved, mm -hmm. and you're just not ready to commit to God at that point. Mm -hmm. Like, what can you just share some of that perspective with maybe some folks that who are out there listening or watching that might be going through something similar? Yeah, I know. Uh, what I decided to when she finally got me to go, mm -hmm. uh, she had a way when she cried, she she could she could really get me. Mm -hmm. No matter what time I came in, no matter how tall up I was, but um, it, it was a struggle. I fought, mm -hmm. I fought, and uh, then she just, I went, I might not go back for another month, mm -hmm. but uh, eventually, um, you know, I, I might go, started going, mm -hmm. and eventually God got a hold of me. I mean, it was, uh, it was amazing, mm -hmm. because I really didn't understand how uh, how rough and challenging it was on her. Mm -hmm. We had did a, a couples therapy mm -hmm. with the VA, uh, PTSD. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And she began to share a lot of things about me that I never, I, I wouldn't accept it, sure. first of all. Sure, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> because when I came back from, when I came back from Central America, I was a little different. Mm -hmm. That should be the storm uh, by that time, you know. But, uh, that opened my eyes because mm -hmm. she began to share things like, wow, man, I was a piece of work. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. ne never thought that. You yeah. know, the many nights she stayed up waiting on me to come in. Mm -hmm. uh, I part we partied all week. I would come in four in the morning in forty five minutes. I got to leave to go to PT, mm -hmm. and she'd be like, "You gonna, you, you gonna kill yourself?" Yeah, yeah. I'm young, I'm in the best shape of my life. Uh, the military, military. Well, I was stationed at Fort Bragg. Um, it was like we we play we work hard, we play hard. Sure, yeah. And they promoted drinking. I mean, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. um, that was what we did. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the first few years it, it was rough on my life. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, boom, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. To me, it was big. I had to go. And I'm leaving that months at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it was difficult for. Her. Mm -hmm. It was difficult for. Her. I look back now, and uh, I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. At the time, I couldn't see it because the devil it had me consumed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, she was the one who who, who led me to uh, who kind of led me to Christ, mm -hmm. and the Church of God in Christ. Oh, my, my family is pretty much Baptist. Okay. And, uh, I like when you said Baptist. Right. Y'all see that family Baptist. Baptist. <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry. Uh. God is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Truly, truly, yeah. God is good. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's go to one final question here as we get ready to wrap up. Ooh. I know. Listen, y'all, I'm not going to put my bro on glass, but he asked, okay, so we're about like 20 minutes or so. I said, 20 minutes? You don't watch the show. It's at least an hour. And if I ask this question, it's going to be over an hour. But I feel like, I feel like it's an important question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the final question that I have is how can couples live out Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verses 22 through 28? And if you are not familiar with that certain passage of scripture, I'm going to ask you to read it on your own. But basically, it's about wives submitting yourselves to your husbands, and then husbands are also to love their wives as Christ loved the church. And so I really would love to hear from you all, how can couples go about living that out? Because I think sometimes... As a woman who previously would hear that scripture and cringe and be like, no, no, and no, don't want to, um, but have since grown and matured and understood um, a lot better sort of the context of the scripture and also how to apply that. Um, I just am wanting to hear from you all for those that are out there that might be struggling with the whole Ephesians 5 and submitting to a husband and, and sort of. Uh, husbands being uh, having to treat their wives like Christ or to love their wives like Christ loved the church. So, individual women, let's start with you and wives submitting to your husbands. How do you live that out? How can couples live that out? Easy, ladies. Make them think they're the boss. Hey, but you know you're the boss. <laughs> and it works. It's easy. Yes, man, that was your great idea. Knowing you had the great idea. No, sorry. Um, <laughs> um I, I believe that the word submissive, it's, it's really not a hard word. And I know people, when they sing in their vows, mm -hmm. 
they they're like, can you take that out again? Yeah. Use another word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not hard to submit yourself to somebody that you trust, mm -hmm. that you feel protected. If you feel protected by them, it's easy. Mm -hmm. If you feel he deserves honor, it's easy. Mm -hmm. If they're doing their part, right. If right, that right, word right. submit is not a bad word, right? Yeah. It, it got to somebody who is who does it mm -hmm. and stand in the shoes of somebody who's honorable and worthy of you submitting yourself, going before you and covering your household and all those other little nuggets that come in with having a good man. It's easy. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, 20 year old Tony was like, submit, you know my daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right away, right, right, right. for years, you're not my father. <laughs> Don't tell me how to wear my hair. Yes. Don't tell yes. me yes. my pants are too tight. Don't yes. tell me what to wear. Yeah. And yeah, what to yeah. take off and what to put, please don't. <laughs> because I wasn't ready. Right, right, right. You know, right. Right. Uh, and, I, and I was looking at things the wrong way, mm -hmm. too. But when you mature, you said that word, when right. you are mature and you trust and, and, and know that the person that you're submitting yourself to even deserves mm -hmm. you to be under them, mm -hmm. or it makes it easy when they are take, doing their job, when they're protecting you, when they're putting themselves in a place to be submissive. Right. You know, some people don't even, you can't trust them with, with you can't trust them with anything. So why would I want to yeah. trust my whole life? My whole life. My me, whole, my whole, everything. my identity. Yeah. Yeah. Carrying your last yeah. name. Mm -hmm. Out in the streets and you out here acting a fool. No. Right, 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 I can't. Right. I won't. But when you find somebody mm -hmm. who is worthy of all of that stuff, yeah. it's easy. It's yeah. not hard. Yeah. So you, your mind got to be right. Mm -hmm. You got to look at things the right way. And yeah. then, too, the other person has to be in those shoes. You have to be worthy of being submissive mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Do your part. Right. I'll do my part. Right, right, right. So good. You yeah. love me. Like Christ loves the church. He takes care of the church. He's yeah. forgiving. He's yeah. forbearing. Yeah. He's all those fruits. Bring me a fruit basket, too. <laughs> and I can eat it. I eat it. I feel like um, the part that you said about, you know, telling you what you can and cannot wear yeah. and, you know. This guy's out there. The, oh, absolutely. And I think, you know, even to the point where as you've grown and matured um, and becoming more confident in, in speaking your mind to people mm -hmm. even and how that could potentially um, sort of make you all look bad or people look at you differently right. like navigating those moments of you know you're not my dad don't tell me what to do tell me to that. <laughs> yeah. don't tell me what to do don't tell me what to wear but as you said it's it's a maturity it's, it's making sure that your mind is right where it's right. like i think there for me there needs to be or there is a fine line between wanting to protect and wanting to right. uh, maintain the reputation of your wife Versus wanting to control your wife. And right. I think kind of knowing the difference, right? Because I think sometimes you see in domestic violence situations where it starts off as, you know, you should you should wear this instead of this. Right. You know, and so to not say that that's what happened, but I think for myself, sometimes I'm like, hmm, yeah. I need to make sure that my mind is right, but I also need to make sure that I'm not falling into anything that, you know, I would not want to be in. So, exactly. Yeah. Something simple as when we first got together, he had this thing about redheads. I never had red hair or streaks or things like that, right? And he would always overly suggest it. And I'm like, <laughs> why? This is, dude, it's so, this is red hair stuff, right? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. Why, 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 why did I? Because <laughs> all you girls had red hair. You know, it, it must have been a thing for him. Oh, God. That was the thing. You had <laughs> girls with red hair. Okay. And if you didn't have, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. submissive Tony uh -huh. did it. Yeah. yeah. My hair broke off because of all the dyes and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm like, I'll never do that again. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> but, he, and I'm like, I don't even like this type of stuff. Yeah. But want to be like yeah, yeah, submissive. Yeah. Right, right, right. I did it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't even like it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, 
and every and even after that, why don't you make your hair red? Because I don't like red hair. And because you like girls with red hair, and I'm not them. You know, don't come start comparing me right, right, right. to right. to Susie Q over here. Because right. I'm I will check you right quick. And that became a thing. Like, mm. what is this? And it just imagine if I just it would have red hair today, then I don't know what else she was into, but like if we're not if we're, you know, I'm not doing it. <laughs> But those things are subtle. But yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. because I loved him enough, right, right, trusted right. him enough, right, right, right. I was out here looking like Ronald McDonald in the streets, uh -huh. but <laughs> but I did it. He's you know, even right though now. I, he's like, I was about to ask her. I should ask her right now. I'm gonna take this off right now. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. that wasn't me. Being someone. I don't want to say worth submitting to, but someone where submitting to is easy. Right. Right? Yeah. It's easy. Elder Todd. Husbands, easy. Husbands love, your, love your wives. As Christ loved the that, church. That, uh, that Ephesians 5, kind of, you, you really, as a young couple, you really have to, uh, if, if you're not mature, you got to grow into that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to grow into yeah. that. And we did. When I first heard it, you know, I remember, I was raised in church now. He when I first it. heard that, I was like, oh boy. In fact, remember when we got married, that I told you like 24 mm. hours later, mm. when they said those vows, mm. we both bust out laughing. Because <laughs> I gave him this face. We laughed during the vows. Oh. And uh, um, the lady that was married, the Justice of the Peace was so mad at us. Yeah. She so was funny. like, this is, not, this is not funny. This is serious. This is a commitment to God. And, but we're laughing at the word submit. Because I, I was like, <laughs> when she said, I said, <laughs> like, and he started laughing. But even then, you know, I wasn't serious right, right, about right. my boss. I was like, I'm not submitting to you. Are you crazy? Right. Let's have everybody do this so we can get this medical. <laughs> but you, you really have to grow into that. Mm. The Bible talks about how when we leave our parents, yeah. mm -hmm. we come together. We come together as one. Right. Right. So um, the submissive, the submissive part is uh, it's more of respecting and mm -hmm. working together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to love your wives as Christ, like that thing that really hit me when I when I really got mm -hmm. an understanding of that. Yeah. I was like, wow, God, that that's that's a Big responsibility when you yeah. think about how much Christ loved. He died for the church. He died for it, yeah. Think yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. So for 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 the husband, to, that's a great responsibility. Absolutely right. My job is to love her the best I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not always going to get it right. Right. I know I'm always going to get it perfect, but that's that's serious. Mm -hmm. And when I and when you don't, I'm falling short. Right. Right. I'm not fulfilling what God has called me to do as a husband. Right. And I haven't always gotten it right, but uh, that's, that's, in that whole text, mm -hmm. that right there is, the, that, to me, that is the focal point. Yeah. The submissive part, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's easy, mm -hmm. you know, because same thing with me, there's things that, oh, babe, I want you to wear your hair this way. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, man, really? Well, I want you to wear your, you know, mm -hmm. and it's time that she, I want you to wear this. I ain't want to wear it, but I did it because, you know, and I trust my wife. Right, right, right. I trust her that she ain't going to have me all looking like Bozo the Klein. And don't, because let me tell y'all, <laughs> if y'all come to church, Elder Todd be stepping it up, putting Listen. us all in the shade. I be like, where are you going? Listen. Where are you going? And trying to figure it out. <laughs> she, uh, she has a good eye for mm -hmm. what I like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she'll tell me something. I'm like, nah, babe, nah. nah. Now, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, yeah. Basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she'll try to stretch me. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, babe, I'm, no, trust me, trust me. And and every time. That's see. Right on point. Yes, see. Every time. Yes. See. 35 years, I should know. So, a little yeah. something. Just a little. Just my little. whole life. Just a teeny tiny. Teeny tiny bit. Yeah. Now this has been so I know y'all can't believe the hours. I can't I believe. can't believe I know there's you so can't. much to say. I know you can't. Okay, so is there is anything that you feel like if I leave this moment and do not share this, it will be a missed opportunity. 
Is there anything that you feel like this, the people absolutely have yes. to hear this? Yeah. Leave other people mm -hmm. out of your marriage. Mm -hmm. If they're not for you, if they're not for your marriage, they're not for your marriage. Mm -hmm. Period. If y'all yep. get that. If they're not when you go to a person for advice mm -hmm. and the things that they're telling you is the opposite of staying together, they're not for your marriage. Yeah. Yeah. They should be coming to you about ways to for you to stay versus ways you should leave. Mm -hmm. If you're not being abused or nothing mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Leave them out of your marriage. Mm -hmm. Get counsel from people who've done it already. Yeah. Don't get counseling from people who have never been married trying to get married. You just don't go to, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. just like when you're in the hospital and those those students come to try to, you get kind of a little nervous. Right. right. Like, y'all you know, have y'all done, ask questions like, yeah. how, how much do you know about this? And before you start taking counsel from people, mm -hmm. be careful. Mm -hmm. Literally, like the Bible said, you leave your parents yeah. and you cleave to one another. If you have to get advice, Get outside advice, please, please, ma'am, please, sir. Do it. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to go when you're not having problems. Right, 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 right. You yeah. see, how can I step this up? Right. Yep. You know? Yeah. So yeah. that that's that's my whole spill. Yeah. Keep people out your house. <laughs> Keep your marriage. Keep your marriage. And the married business to yourselves. Amen. Yeah. And if you need to. Get professional help. Or from other married couples uh, or somebody, couples. you know. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, don't don't be always getting marriage counsel from somebody who wants your man or wants your wife. Oh, don't do it. Don't do that. No, no, no. Mm -mm. For me, myself, I'm going to go back to uh, a question that you presented on Facebook. Okay. I forgot to do Yes. It. About marriage. And yes. Love. And, and I read so many different comments. Yes. And I said, <laughs> Absolutely not. not. You did. So for those that don't know, aren't connected to me on Facebook, the question was, is love the most important part of a marriage? And your response is absolutely not. Reason being, mm -hmm. and this is not my theology, mm -hmm. but I learned this from, uh, I was newly saved. I learned this from, I was at the time going to Smith Temple Church of God in Christ in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Right. And the late Dr. Otis Lockett mm -hmm. uh, out of Greensboro. He's come to do a revival. And I can remember one night he asked the whole church, everyone who believes that marriage is based on love, raise your hand. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I got this one. Everybody's hand went up. Yeah. And he would say, wow, people are different saying, oh, it's based on love. And I heard a lot of comments about, you know, respect mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all communication and all mm -hmm. this stuff. And he was like, no. He said, because God, in the beginning, God said, he covered all. God said, love what? Your neighbor as what? As you love yourself. He said, so God already had commanded us to love one another. Right, 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 right. He said, love, he said, marriage is based on commitment. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Jaria, that thing stuck with me mm -hmm. to this day. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can love her. But when things get hot, I don't have to stay. I can yeah. bounce. Yeah, 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 yeah. There Absolutely. are many people who I know some friends of mine, like, man, yo, man, I'm out, man. Man, I love her, man. I love her with all my heart, man. But now nah, I can't I'm deal gone. with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And let me tell you something to young couples who, who are uh, engaged, you gotta make sure that you are you you are committed for this mm. for uh, hell or high water, as they would yeah. say. I'm being yeah. honest with you. Yeah. Think because about the worst times ever. Yeah. What could be the worst thing that could happen? Yeah. Think about all those things before you say, I do. Right, right. What right. is what is a deal breaker? Talk about the deal breakers. Yeah. What are 100%. what is definitely because love yeah. covers those things all are gonna come up. Yeah. <laughs> the those are gonna come up. Communication, all that respect, all yeah. love covers all that. Right, yeah. right, right. But are you gonna be committed mm -hmm. when things go disarray? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna be committed when you ain't got no money? Somebody's sick, mm -hmm. whatever the circumstance, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's what the it's the commitment that's gonna keep you together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's what really has kept us. Yeah, yeah. We, we were we know we're committed to this, right? Good. And we don't like I said we don't been through it. Mm 
Mm. Lost the house. Mm. It, 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 it's a bad feeling when you got to pack up. It's a bad feeling. Yeah. You yeah. got to move in with a loved one. Yeah. But God smiled upon us, and within a year, I was in, a, I was mm. in another house. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you how good God is. Mm. Because he'll honor that. Right. right. He, he honored that. Yeah, we, we made some mistakes, but you know, okay, we. Another chance. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. that's across the board. And right. that's Absolutely. why we're still together. Because God continues to give us another mm -hmm. new chances, another Absolutely. chance. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. No, that's good. You gotta, that's you can, good. Commitment is so, yeah. so critical. Yeah. It's so critical. That was one of the comments I think somebody mentioned is like, love is. You wake up in the morning, you decide, I'm going to love this person today. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going to be committed to this person today. Even if, you know, you on my nerves, you aggravate mm -hmm. me, you keep leaving the toilet seat up. Does that ever stop, by the way? Yes. Oh, it does. A lot of things change. Even if you, uh, <laughs> if we, I don't want to say retrain, but mm -hmm. you, could, you could train a person to love you. Mm -hmm. Think about a pet. Yeah. Pets yeah. don't really know you. They're not yeah. born of you. Yeah. But you could train them to like you. Absolutely. Love you. Absolutely. Um, I'm not calling you a, a, my man a pet, but <laughs> there's things he knows that just gets on my nerves. Right, right. right he right. loves me enough, he's going to fix it. And likewise. Right, right, right. right. I mean, we, so. we both have had moments. You'll tell you, we both had moments. Mm -hmm. And I ain't talking about 10 years ago where we wanted, we wanted to end it. Just leave. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. at the end of the day, it was like, nah, I'm committed to this. Mm -hmm. What we're going through is, nah, this, what we're going through, it ain't too hard for God to handle. Right, 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 right. Yes. And I had to literally shut out everything and everybody, even mm -hmm. straight to heaven. Like, mm -hmm, God, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here we are. Here yeah. I am. Yeah. Here it, here's what the Williamses look like right now. Right, 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 right. I've done it as, I've taken it as far as I could take it. Mm -hmm. Um, what you gonna do? Right, right, right. Start talking. <laughs> I need Start to hear you. Start showing up. Start talking. Yeah. Any day now. Change my heart. <laughs> change, yeah. change, yeah. Change his heart. Yeah. And he did so, it. Yeah. Marriage is work. Mm. It is. It's work. It's, it's hard yeah. work. Yep. You clock in. It's hard you, work. You do <laughs> not clock out, ladies and gentlemen. You don't clock out. You don't clock out. Mm -hmm. And, and, mm -hmm. and if, if you put God first, mm -hmm. To the advantage with with those who are saved, you already got God. You know, right. at the beginning with us, I wasn't thinking about God. Mm. She was the one that was praying, you know, but when it all came together, you know, we we, we always got through it. Yeah. We yeah. always got through it. And to this day, yeah, you know, we just committed, this is it. Yeah. This is it. Till death do us part. Yeah, I love it. Thank y'all so much. Yeah. This has been so great. This has been Thank amazing, you. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so before we end, um, I'll just ask if Assistant Pastor Todd Williams would just say a prayer. And if you would please specifically focus on um, those who are married. Um, in fact, if you both could focus on, if we could start with you, Evangelist Williams, if you could focus on just wives in a marriage and then end with you, um, Assistant Pastor Todd, Focusing on husbands in a marriage and then um, just marriages in general, people that desire to be married. The topic for tonight is what's love got to do with it. And love, I think, is a very beautiful thing. Marriage is a very beautiful thing. But in order to make a marriage work and in order to sustain a marriage, uh, like we've heard tonight, for over 35 years, it takes more than just love, right? It takes a commitment to one another and most importantly, a commitment to God. So if you do not have a relationship with God, if you are listening, um, please, I would encourage you to seriously, seriously start getting into that relationship with God first. first. Don't even worry about dating and relationships and marriage with other people and all this other stuff. Get into your relationship with God first, and then everything else will come after. Need him. It, yes, <laughs> you will absolutely need him. Uh, but if we could start your hand just learns with you uh, with the praying for and focusing on wives in a marriage, then this is the pastor Todd. And then after this, we have some quick announcements, some ways that you can connect with us. So stay tuned after Pastor uh, Todd ends the prayer. Evangelist Williams, yes. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we put before you every wife, every sister that's considering being a wife before you right now in the name of Jesus. Asking that God, wherever they are, in their minds, in their lives, in their bodies, oh God, those who are preparing for marriage, that you would touch them. 
even now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, bring those things that are dormant, that, that would make them a better wife. Bring it to, to fruition for them in the name of Jesus. Those who are contemplating marriage, oh God, set them up in a godly way like you did the church, oh God. Give them headships. Give them good people before them. Connect them with people who are able to guide them in the right way and give them great counsel even now in the name of Jesus. Let doors open up for them right now as we're speaking, oh God. We ask that you touch those who even... Wives who have found themselves in places that I were in, in times that they want to give up and throw in the towel, God, that you would touch their minds and that something that I've said on tonight, prick them, oh God, and let them not only lead to what I said, but lead to your word where your word says that love is patient, love is kind, love is forbearing, and all those things that love encompasses in your word as God, as you open their eyes to it, even now, in the name of Jesus. We know that there's nothing too hard for you. We're sitting here on tonight because nothing is too hard for you. And we give it all in your hands. Every marriage, every woman, every wife, every sister, everyone that is even engaged, oh God, we bring them before you in the name of Jesus. God, that you would just open their minds and their eyes to what it really is a good wife, oh God. Creating them even now a heart of a wife, a heart of a mother, a heart of a good sister, that some man that might find them in the name of Jesus and find them being a saved woman, a woman worthy to be called a wife. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Father, we thank you and we praise you on tonight, God, for this opportunity, Lord, to come and share, God, of our life, our marriage, God. I'm praying even now, God, that you touch uh the men, touch those who are married, touch those who are seeking to get married, God. Help them to understand, God, the place that you put the man, God, as the first partaker, Lord. Help us, Lord, the brother, to be able to uh, stand firm, God, on your principles, oh Lord, of what it is to be a husband, God, what it is to be the first partaker, Lord. We're praying, oh God, strength for our brethren, Lord, for the challenges and the pressures of being a husband, of being a father, Lord. God, we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you continue to stir them up, God. Stir up their spirits, God. Don't let them lose hope, God, in, in what it is to be a father and to be a husband, God. For it is beautiful, it's wonderful, God, as we seek you first, God. You said you would give us all those things, oh God, that we desire, God. And I'm praying right now, God, for that marriage, Lord, that marriage that may be struggling right now. It may be dealing with financial issues, Lord. It may be dealing with God, uh, uh, with uh, sexual issues, God. Whatever the circumstance, God, God, we know that you're able to do anything but fail, God. We're praying for restoring, God. We're praying, God, for strengthening and mending, God. For, oh, Lord, uh, uh, feelings have been hurt, God. Fingers have been pointed, God. And we're believing right now, God, that you will give them a spirit, Lord, of forgiveness, God. Help them to forgive one another, Lord. Help them to understand, God, that you were clear in your word that what you have put together, you said, let no man put asunder, God. We bind Satan right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. For we know that he comes none other but to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes to steal our hope. He comes to destroy our families and our marriages. And God, we claim victory right now over the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen that marriage, God. That man who, who, who was determined to go uh, uh, one way, God, turn him back around, God. Help him to be committed, God, to what you call him to be, God. In the name of Jesus. Put a commitment in their spirit, God. Put a commitment in their spirit to understand that there's nothing that they cannot work through, God. Whether it be finances, God. Whether it be spiritual, physical, God, whatever the situation, God, Jesus. there's nothing, God, that you can't help in the name of Jesus. We give you glory on tonight, God. Yes. We thank you for this gracious host, God. Oh, God, who is really, Lord, doing a great work for the yes. kingdom, God. As I believe on tonight that some marriage has been blessed, some marriage has been restored, even on tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, this, this is needed for this time. This time of, 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 of this season, God, of the kingdom, God, is much needed. For many marriages are being torn apart every day, God. And somebody on tonight, God, has grasped hold on tonight, God, of your word, of, of the encouraging uh, information that was given on tonight, even in our marriage, God. 
that if you commit to one another, if you commit, oh, oh my God, to the word of God, that there's nothing that God won't do. He is wonderful. He's marvelous. He's a holy God. He's righteous. He's just. And he wants his people to be blessed. We praise you and we thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name be blessed. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all so much for tuning Amen. in. Thank you for my guests. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This was fantastic. Listen, y'all do not want to miss the next episode. It is coming out March 13th. Y'all ask for it. I'm going to give it to you. It's so you want to be a first lady. Part two. Okay. Part two. So we're going to show a little bit of clips, a little bit of announcements here. So just tune in for a hot second just to see different ways that you can connect with us at Drea Shanae Ministries and all things dig deep. I will see you on the journey to a deeper relationship with God and see you in March. Take care.